Hello, I'm Boris Lipkin. I'm the Northern California Regional Director with the California High Speed Rail Authority. And today we're at the intersection of Branham Lane and Monterey Road in South San Jose to talk about what the various options for high speed rail will look like at this particular intersection. In this location, we actually have three different options for what high speed rail could look like as it comes through South San Jose. We have the first and third alternative, which put the rail line in the middle of the road on a viaduct. Um, so the trains would be elevated above the, the existing road. Another alternative would put the rail corridor between the existing rail line and the road. And the preferred alternative would actually upgrade this existing rail corridor. What that would look like is we would go from the existing two tracks that are primarily used by freight and Caltrain commuter rail services to a total of three tracks, two of which would be electrified for the passenger services, so high-speed rail and Caltrain, and one that would remain unelectrified for the freight service. Additionally, we would be looking to upgrade the safety of the entire rail corridor and each of these great crossings. For the rail corridor itself, we would add fencing on both sides to make it harder for people to be able to uh, to get onto the rail corridor as a train might be passing by. At the grade crossings, we would upgrade them to the what are called four quad gates, which would add an extra gate on each part, each entrance into the crossing, so that every entrance would be blocked off and a car couldn't accidentally make it onto the rail line while a train was passing by. Similarly for pedestrians, right now I could just walk up onto the rail line uh, without anything stopping me, if, even if a train is passing by. Uh, but with the upgrades that we would want to do, we would look to be upgrading that to ensure that there's also a pedestrian gate uh, that would block off any access uh, to the rail corridor if a train is there. Finally, we would be adding an intrusion detection system that would look for obstructions on the rail corridor as a train is passing by. That would alert the dispatchers who would then be able to notify the train crew to either slow down or stop to avoid hitting whatever obstacle might be on the rail line. We would look to fence the rail corridor and add other safety improvements around how cars might cross the, the rail line, uh, as well as pedestrians, bicyclists, and, and, and others. Uh, and this is all part of the work that we're doing to plan, design, and then ultimately implement the high-speed rail system here in Northern California. Thank you for joining us today as we continue to make progress in bringing high-speed rail to Northern California. If you want to learn more about the project, please visit our website.